1,500 miles it goes across the dusty, desolate plains of the south and on northwards through the spectacular landscapes of Meteora. Four days of sweat and strain under a blistering sun. This is the Acropolis Rally, the roughest, toughest gravel road test in Europe. Mouton leads the cars away. She's followed by Walter Rawls' Lancia Rally and Henry Toivonen's Rothmans Opel Manta. Anu Mikola, the world championship leader. On the first stage, he and co-driver Arnie Hurt stopped to change a punctured tyre, completing the job unaided in under two minutes. Now they're fighting back. Walter Rawl has won this rally twice before, and he has a fine chance here of a record third win if his Lancia maintains the pace and withstands the battery. Stig Blomqvist is driving his first Acropolis rally, but he's going well. The rear-engined Lanciers are less affected. Engine heat is sucked away from the cockpit and a funnel device on the roof feeds cool air to the crew. Ray's Opel Manta is already suffering from an intermittent fault on the fuel pump. heads northwest towards Altea and Kalambaka, far up country, so the heat and dust get even worse. I think we have a tow out, towing very much rare. It has to be that it's nothing wrong with the front. I have in uh, one puncture and what you say in uh, this is in taking clean in uh, your wiper. Windscreen yes. wiper. It's broken. I go 35 kilometers in nothing in long states. After 5 kilometers in broken and stage is 40 kilometers. Yeah. Too many problems. Also puncture one time I come in 11 kilometers. Okay. I hope tomorrow is a better day. Mikola is striving to increase his lead, pushing the Quattro hard over the long opening stages. Wall is hanging on to second place. He's trying not to let Mikola get too far ahead, but he knows he must also preserve his car. <laughs>
driver beckons for assistance. Not surprisingly, he doesn't see the joke. Spin has cleared the road for Bettiger. And Sheka Mater's steady drive continues. It's now midnight in hot, sticky Athens. Another 780 kilometers have been completed today. There's another 730 to go. McRae is a disappointed eighth after he was delayed on the run into the city. Too late now. We're coming down the national road, coming into Athens. And, uh, back bearing and the diff bus through the prop shaft off. So it's the waiting service coming and they've changed to a temporary accident again. It's been, uh, that's usually in Acropolis, it's very tiring. I, I really feel my hands are very sore and I feel I've done a long day's work now. I'm ready, ready for sleep. Uh, competition wise, uh, quite, quite normal. Three punctures which are not necessarily normal but I suppose part of, part of Acropolis and uh, we cost us time as they always would do, and, but otherwise going steadily. It's the major part of the rally over now, do you think? Oh, the uh, most difficult part of it, but uh, we have still uh, 240 kilometers to go on the state season. It's not really easy roads to those either. Very good for Hanno that he's first car tomorrow night. We will have a lot of dust, but anyway, uh, it's my job to try it once more to push him we are three cars, and even if one uh, gets last, it's no problem for lunch here. It means I should try to, to push it. Leader goes out. On the final night section, an oil pipe fractured, causing the engine to seize. It was Mikola's seventh retirement in seven Acropolis rallies. For Lancia, it's an impressive, if slightly lucky, victory. Rawl has again driven superbly. Alain nurses a car with a broken head gasket into second place. Blomqvist, the Audi team's only finisher, he's in third place. Despite a last-minute shock absorber failure, Battenen takes fourth after his teammate Toivinen crashes into a tree. ever-reliable Meta brings home the Nissan 6th. Austrian Franz Wittmann is 7th in his quattro. McRae finishes 8th after a succession of problems culminating in rear suspension failure. After this victory over Audi, Lancia are now favourites for the World Rally Championship. Their development of this lightweight, supercharged car has rapidly made it competitive, especially on loose roads like these. So, at the midway point with co-driver Christian Geistorfer, Walter Rohl leads the championship. And at last, he has a car and a team to match his ability.